The first question in quiz 5 asked us to solve this equation for d. To do so, we'll take the logarithm of both sides. Use the exponent property. Use the exponent property on the right. Divide both sides of the equation by log 3. And that's our answer. We wanted to get a number, 2 log divided by 3 log. And that's about 0 0.631. The second question in the quiz is a little bit more involved. So now we're asked to solve this equation. 125 equals 50 times 2 to the d. OK. So we want to isolate d. Let's take the logarithm of both sides. Log 125. And I need to take the logarithm of the entire right-hand side, 50 times 2 to the d. Now notice over here, I've got 50 times 2 to the d. Remember that logs turns, turn multiplication into addition. So the first thing I'll do here is simplify this like this. So I write log a times b is log a times log b. I'm using that property here. Then I can use the exponent property here, because I've got 2 to the d. So I can take the d downstairs and outside. So this will become log 50 plus d log 2. And now I need to solve for d. The first thing I'll do is move 50 over to the left by subtracting log 50 from both sides. Then the last step is to divide both sides of the equation by log 2. And when I do so, I have to divide the entire left-hand side by log 2. So that's our answer. And we can plug this into a calculator to get an approximate numerical answer. And if you do, you should find that d is approximately equal to 1.322. We can always check to make sure that our answer is right by plugging d back in to this equation and seeing if it makes the equation true. So let's, let's try that just for reassurance. So 125, does that really equal 50 times 2 to the 1.322? Let's see, what's 2 to the 1.322? About 2.5. And 2.5 times 50 is indeed 125. So we see that the answer, d is 1.322, is indeed correct. It's correct because it makes the equation true.